Hi, this is Anthony and welcome to my show. The old adage is never invest in anything you don't really understand. I'm going to tell you about a company that I used to own and made money with in the past. I sold it at a profit and I believed I used that money to buy DraftKings, which in a short amount of time I had made quite a bit of money on and now which has fallen down below what my cost basis is for that company. By the way, I'm still holding on to DraftKings, but that's a story for another video. Before I talk about today's stock, remember this is not investment advice, simply entertainment. Don't buy anything based on what I, or anyone else on the internet, may say. Simply use this video as a starting point to do your own research. The stock is Pool Corporation, stock zipper P-O-O-L. As you might guess from their name, they are the world's leading wholesale distributor of swimming pool equipment, parts and supplies, and related outdoor living products. If you have a pool, you realize that pretty much it's a hole in the ground that you dump money into. And whether or not you use it much, parts break and you have to replace them, and you have to maintain a regular schedule of upkeep, which is going to cost you money, regardless of whether the pool is used or not, and regardless of what the economy does, what the inflation rate is going to be, or what monetary course the Federal Reserve might choose to follow. Since the beginning of this calendar year, pool is down about 10%, but in the past year, it's up 37.5%, and in the past five years, it's up 371%. It also pays a small dividend. It looks like they increase the dividend each year, so check out its dividend payment history online. And the company is profitable, but if you look at the quarterly earnings per share, while the general trend is up, because it is a somewhat seasonal business, earnings do bounce around on a quarterly basis. Compared to broad indexes like the S&P 500, Pool has done wonderfully over the long term. The current P.E. ratio is 33.45, which seems like it might be a little high, but as of the close of the last trading day, the stock was up 37% for the past 52 weeks. And that is after a recent 10.2% drop since the beginning of this calendar year. In the past five years, the stock is up 371%, which is an average of 74% per year. Remember, past performance is not necessarily indicative of future returns, but honestly, what is there to prevent the company from achieving at least higher returns than what an average index like the S&P 500 might provide? Could we have a bear market which starts in 2022? I think that may well be likely. I think for the vast majority of anyone's portfolio, you should be willing to invest in good companies and hope for the long term. A company like Pool should provide above average returns in the long run, no matter what price you buy it at now, and no matter what the market may do this year or next. So that's today's idea. It's kind of a routine stock whose business is someone, is something that everyone can understand. So the question, I guess, is buy, sell, or hold. For me, personally, I plan to buy some shares soon. Also, please remember this is not financial or investment advice. I'm not a financial advisor just somebody on YouTube providing entertainment. If you like this type of content and want to see more, it would really help me if you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, please view my other videos, and if you like them, click the like button. And feel free to leave comments, even if you disagree with me. I'm on Instagram at Anthony R. R. Mills. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your investments.